Well, 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 look who's been busy lately. Little Madison is getting married to Sean, huh? You've got to be kidding me. That's the worst joke I've ever heard. Did he forget to tell you that he was with me before? How can he do this to me? What? Who are you? What are you talking about? What do you want from me? I have no idea what you're saying. Don't act dumb, Madison. You know very well who I am. I'm unforgettable. I'm Emily, Sean's ex-girlfriend. He must have mentioned me to you at some point. I'm still heartbroken over this. You stole him from me and you ruined everything. Emily? Oh, you're Sean's ex-girlfriend, huh? How did you get this number? Why are you calling me? What's so urgent? You know, when I first met Sean, you were trying to get back with him. You were so desperate. Why did you bother to find someone who knows me and get my number? What's your plan? You're just looking for trouble. What do you want, Emily? How dare you? How can you accuse me of looking for trouble? You're the one who's causing trouble. You're a terrible person. You don't deserve Sean. I'm much better for him than you are. I have more dreams than you. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave him alone? You'll be happier that way. What are you talking about? Happier? Did you really get my number just to harass me and threaten me? To take away my happiness? Whatever you're up to, Emily, it won't work. You can't do anything to me. You have nothing to do with our marriage. What's your motive, Emily? I'm here to claim what's mine. I want Sean back. He belongs with me, so give him up now. Are you insane? What did you just say? Give him up? He's not a thing, he's a person. And he's not yours. He would never choose you over me. Not even if you were the last woman on earth. You're delusional, Madison. You don't know Sean like I do. He's very loyal and he'll always pick me over you. <laughs> I can't wait to see your face when he dumps you at the altar. What? I'm so confused. What are you saying? Emily, don't you dare show up at my wedding. You're not invited and you're not welcome. You're driving me crazy. I don't need this drama right before my big day. If you have something to say, why don't you talk to Sean directly? Why are you bothering me? Are you trying to start a fight or something? Listen, I won't fall for your tricks. Hey, I'm just trying to help you out. To save you from making a mistake. <laughs> why are you marrying him anyway? You know he's going to leave you for me in the end. You're unbelievable, Emily. That's not helping, that's hurting. Stop picking a fight with me. You're stressing me out. And I'm done talking to you. I have better things to do. As long as you're aware of the consequences of your actions, that's all that really matters to me. I'm just trying to warn you before it's too late. You're not warning me of anything. You're just provoking me. I don't get what your motive is. Why are you doing this to me? Just be ready to hand over Sean to me, all right? That's the only thing I ask of you. Well, I guess I should prepare myself for the inevitable. <laughs> I can't wait to see your reaction at the wedding ceremony. I have no clue what you're up to, but I won't let you ruin my happiness. You won't succeed in your scheme. Please don't show up here and interfere with our plans. I don't want your advice. And Sean doesn't want you in his life. Just get out of our way, will you? Well, I suppose it's time for me to make my way to the wedding ceremony now. Why don't you do me a favor and just vanish from the face of the earth? What are you saying, Emily? Why should I vanish once my own wedding that I have to be present for? You have no authority over what I do. The worst part of this whole situation is you crashing into our ceremony when you're not wanted here. Can you please just stop this madness and get on with your life? How about I ignore what you say and crash in anyway? You can't just turn around and boss around a woman who's eight months pregnant with a child. What? What did you just say? You're not telling me you're pregnant, are you? Oh, didn't you know that I was? I thought everyone knew that since the baby is Sean's after all. Don't give me that crap. I know for a fact that that's a lie. It's been way too long since you and him broke up. That doesn't add up. That's why I came here to snatch Sean from the ceremony. He and I are going to tie the knot, so you need to back off. He's marrying me, and I'm going to have his baby. You can't have him. I know you're just spewing all these lies to mess with my head, but it's not going to work. Have you gone insane, Emily? Because that's the only reason I can think of for why you're doing this. You're a terrible person. Hey, I'm the one who's carrying a child here, so I should be the one who gets to marry the love of my life, right? You're standing in the way of that. You're such a pest, and I want you out of the picture. Excuse me? A pest? If anyone is being a pest right now, it's you. Emily, you're ruining everything. You've clearly forgotten that I'm the one who's going to marry Sean and spend the rest of my life with him. Well, darling, that's not going to happen. I'm taking over your wedding and replacing you. You're not going to be the bride anymore, Madison. 
Sean and I are going to get married and elope with each other, so you don't need to care about him anymore. I don't get what you mean by not caring. Because you're trying to steal my husband away from me? You really have lost it, haven't you? You seriously don't think you have the right to come here, do you? You've said that you're going to marry him so many times that you're starting to get on my nerves. Are you really not understanding where I'm coming from with this? Well, I'm all set, so you'd better brace yourself as well. I'll make my rival disappear, never to be seen again. Your rival? Are you joking? Emily, that's not going to happen. I'm the star of the show today, and you know it. Well, I don't know how you're going to be the star of the show when I'm supposed to be in that role. You stole the man I was meant to marry at my wedding day. So, I'm going to take it all back. Wow, I really have no clue what's wrong with you. Are you all right? This is just absurd, Emily. Even if you were going to hijack the ceremony with that attitude, the guests would be outraged. They'll definitely want you thrown out of the venue if you try to do anything to ruin our day. I'm not feeling any good vibes from this. So why don't you just talk to Sean so you can both sort this whole thing out? I'm on my way now, Madison. You better be ready for what I'm about to do. <laughs> I told you to stop this, Emily. This is sheer madness. I don't get why you're doing this. You're such a lunatic. I haven't done anything to you. Please don't do anything foolish. What the hell is happening here? What's with everyone's reaction? Why is everyone laughing their heads off? It's only natural for me to want to marry the man who's the father of my child. I'm eight months pregnant for crying out loud. This wedding ceremony was supposed to be about me and Sean. Why isn't anyone taking it seriously? I really have no clue, Emily. Maybe it's the fact that you dated me over three years ago and claimed the baby is mine. Don't talk such nonsense to me. Do you have any idea how much pain you've caused for Lizzie? How long are you going to humiliate her? I'm trying to tell you what she said before. Stop doing this to us. Huh? Is that you, Sean? Why have you got Madison's phone? How long did it take you to finally contact me, huh? What the hell was that earlier on? Didn't you think it was awful? How dare they laugh at me? You know, Emily, when we dated three years ago, you were so bubbly and carefree. Now, I just get weird vibes from you. You're basically causing a disaster. What did you plan on doing once you got to the venue, huh? I wanted to talk to you, Sean. I wanted to get married to you. I thought that I could just come by and take Madison's place and marry you right then and there. I'm the one who's pregnant. I'm the one you would choose, right? I'm sorry? Why do you think I would choose to marry you when you wanted to come in and take over everything? Huh? But then why are you contacting me like this? Isn't it because you wanted to see me as you've realized your mistake? Are you joking? Don't you get it? It's because you've been bothering Madison with messages all day. How many times do I have to tell you so that you won't cause any more trouble? How could you act like this? Are you dumb or something? Why would you contact my fiance? She's going to be my wife. Please don't say things like that to me. I just want you to marry me, that's all. You weren't replying to my messages. I had no choice but to get in contact with Madison and persuade her to leave and never come back. You've got to be kidding me. I didn't want to read your messages, so I blocked your number on my phone. Wait, what? You blocked me? Why would you do that? All I wanted was to talk to you. What's the big deal? Uh, maybe it's because I want nothing to do with you, Emily. We broke up. And I don't want to be with you. Our dating is a thing of the past. And it's a part of my past that I don't want to think about. I just want to erase it from my memory. I was relieved not to have heard anything from you in three years. And now you show up right before my wedding? I've already tried to explain to you what's going on. I'm pregnant. Sean, I'm going to have a baby. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? Why are you telling me all this? Shouldn't you be telling your parents and things that you're pregnant? Of course that baby isn't mine. So don't try and put any blame on me. It's another man's child. We haven't even laid eyes on each other since we broke up. So how can it be my child? That's why all the guests at the ceremony burst out laughing. Because they know it's a lie, and they were mortified for you. <laughs> Why do you think I'm lying to you? I'm not lying. You're not going to do this to me, are you? You will not abandon me, right? Are you telling me that you're not going to marry me? That I don't deserve you? There's no chance that I'm ever going to get back together with you. 
I'm so happy for the first time in my life with a woman I love, which is Madison. Please, just stop causing us so much trouble. We don't need this on what's supposed to be the best day of our lives. I don't want you coming anywhere near me ever again. Do you hear me? I am not going to get involved with you, Emily. Please, Sean, don't do this to me. Just wait a minute, please. You can't just abandon me. Just answer this question. Don't you still love me, Sean? Huh? What are you even saying? Emily, you're not really making any sense. And what you're doing is awful. It's horrible that such a fuss was caused at my wedding ceremony. It shouldn't have happened. I feel so terrible right now. What a terrible way to put it. I did no such thing. I had every right to do that because I'm Sean's ex-girlfriend, remember? I just wanted him back in my arms. It was really me who was supposed to get married to Sean today. You're ruining everything. So what, you're his ex-girlfriend? Now that he's not with you? Whatever he does with his life has got nothing to do with you. It's been such a long time since you both broke up. Can't you just move on and find some other poor guy to marry? Besides, Sean's already my husband. What's he supposed to do if you've suddenly come back to get him and say you're pregnant? Everyone knows that it's not his baby, Emily. Who are you kidding here? Sean and I were planning to raise the child together. I know that he's always wanted a baby, but then you came in out of the blue and said you were going to get married to him. Sean is my man and always will be. Have you seriously lost your mind? You've actually gone crazy, Emily. He never said that to you. I guess when I said that we were getting married, you decided that you needed him more than I did. You don't like the fact that someone else is with him now. And I never stole Sean away from you. You pushed him away. We started dating each other after you both broke up. He was my friend, but I never did anything with him when he was with you. Surely you remember what went down. You know that's what happened, right? I don't care what happened in the past. I need him by my side in the present. I want Sean to fulfill his role as a father. I have absolute faith in Sean, and I know he would never betray me or stab me in the back in order to be with you. He doesn't want that kind of life for himself. He cares about me too much to hurt me like that. Besides, where's the solid evidence to prove that Sean's the biological father of the baby you're carrying in your womb? Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean by evidence? What about my baby? What kind of evidence could I possibly have or need? Um, you do know that you can find the paternity of a child by analyzing its DNA, right? You know, the genetic material that determines the traits of a living being? I don't need any DNA testing to prove who the father is. I know for a fact that this is Sean's baby. You do know that I'm pregnant, right? You can see the bump on my belly, right? Don't you think that Sean should have chosen me over you? It's a better choice for him and his future. What the heck, Emily? Why do you think that? You're completely out of touch with reality. You've lost your marbles, that's for sure. You're living in a fantasy world. <laughs> There's no why to be questioned. This is the way it should be. He should be with me, not you. And I'm having his child. He should marry me and make me his wife. That's definitely not how it should be. Emily, how are you not getting this? We've explained this to you so many times now. How is it not sinking in your thick skull? Sean said earlier that the two of you did date each other. You know, that was three years ago, right? A lot has changed since then. Why do you think Sean would choose you now? He hasn't had contact with you in such a long time. And to be honest, he doesn't want to. He's moved on. He should choose me because I'm the one who's pregnant. And I know he wanted children someday. And that day is today. You're the one who's not understanding this. You're so stubborn and selfish. It's frustrating me so much. And whose baby is it? Emily, if you haven't seen Sean in three years, it's definitely not Sean's baby because he's been with me for the past eight months. We've been in a committed and exclusive relationship. The reason that you both broke up in the first place was because you got caught cheating on him. He was devastated, but he knew he deserved better. Isn't it because of you that Sean gave up your relationship because you cheated on him with another man? There's no way that Sean would ever start over again with a woman who sleeps around with other men behind his back. He has no respect for you. Oh, come on. That was a long time ago. I was young and stupid, and he was too. We had no idea how to act in a relationship. We were immature and reckless. I'm sure he hung out with other women as well. I'm not the only guilty one in this story, and I'm not the only one who made mistakes. I'm being serious about wanting him back. I've changed. Even though you say those things now and feel regret, nothing's going to change. You can't have him. He loves me. He's happy with me. And he's chosen me. But he can't do this to me. He can't abandon me like this. 
I'm the one who's pregnant and needs a man by her side. Don't you get that? How is he not prioritizing me over you? I'm the pregnant one. I need help and his love. Oh, you did not just go there. How dare you say that there is something wrong with him choosing me over you? There is no way in hell that he would want to get with a pregnant woman when the baby isn't even his. And you know what? You've got no proof whatsoever that it's his. So give it up, Emily. He's not getting back together with you. He's done with you. But don't you think it's cruel of him to abandon me in this condition? I am heavily pregnant and need a man by my side. Wouldn't you help a woman out if they were pregnant? Wouldn't you show some compassion and kindness? You do realize you're going way too far with that theory, right? The situation is completely different from just casually helping out a pregnant lady. Are you saying that someone should help you by marrying you while you're pregnant? Is that what you're saying? But someone would need to love you and even want to do that. It would be impossible. Like, actually, think about it. Emily, you've gone silent. Why did you shut up all of a sudden? Hello, Emily. Look, Sean and I are happily married. Don't you realize you're interfering with that? You've got nothing to do with us. You're just another outsider, and we don't want you in our circle ruining everything. Why are you trying to get so involved in something that doesn't concern you? I just wanted to be happy with Sean. That's all I ever wanted, to be happy with him, to share my life with him. Well, you had your chance, Emily, and you blew it. You know that, right? You should have thought about this while you two were dating and before you decided to go and cheat on him. It's too late for you. Everything you did with him is gone. You've got no one to blame but yourself, even if you're pregnant. We all know it's not Sean's child. If you insist on keeping up with this fake story, prove it with a DNA test. Show us some evidence. Okay, fine, I admit it. He's not the father to my baby. I haven't seen Sean since we broke up. Are you happy now? I finally said it. Well, like I said before, I knew it wasn't his baby. So what's been the point of this conversation? It's been a complete waste of time and energy. It's been pointless, but I'm in a lot of emotional pain. The father of my baby abandoned me. He left me alone. I thought that if I told Sean that it was his, he'd choose me and we'd be together. I thought he'd love me again. Oh my God, why would he do that? Do you know how selfish this is? Are you that self-conscious about doing this by yourself? Don't you think it's kind of dumb of you to get involved in ruining our wedding plans and make that sort of claim in front of everyone? I don't know how much of an expectation you had with Sean choosing you over me, but he'd never do that to me. Do you really think he would talk to you calmly and want to see you after breaking up such a long time ago? If someone asks you to get married because you're pregnant, don't you think you'd be causing trouble? Why would you even want to trouble Sean with such a burden when he wants to be with me? But I am in trouble, Madison. I can't have this baby without having a father. I can't raise this baby alone. And I need a man to help me. Many women give birth to their babies and bring them up. It's very doable. You knew what you were doing. You need to take responsibility for the mess you caused. Have you not thought to look for the baby's father yourself? You need to ask the baby's dad to take responsibility for what he's done too. He's also to blame for this. I don't know what else to tell you, Emily. This is something that you've got to deal with. Stop dragging Sean into it because he's not involved. But how can I? Sean isn't replying to me. You need to tell him what's going on with me. Please, you've got to tell him to contact me. Please, Madison, I'm begging you. How stupid are you, Emily? He doesn't want to speak with you. And he doesn't want anything to do with you. Who would honestly tell that to their own husband? He doesn't want to have to deal with a crazy woman who's making no sense at all. Crazy woman? Are you talking about me? I'm not crazy, I'm just desperate. My baby needs a father and I want it to be Sean. He's the only one I love. Ugh, for goodness sake, I'm not doing this with you anymore. Are you sure there's no one else who'll be the dad? It really is a shame that you're trying to convince Sean to be the dad. It's embarrassing, really. I can't deal with you anymore. Feel free to worry about this on your own but you need to deal with your own problems. Stop giving them to us like Sean did. I'm going to block your number now. No, please wait. Please don't block me. Sean can't abandon me like this. I'm so pregnant. I mean, I'm about to pop any minute. I've got no one else. Then maybe you need to go find yourself a new husband. Don't rely on mine. I don't want to hear from you ever again. Stop acting like a dumb, crazy lady and get on with your life. You've got a baby to take care of.
In the end, Emily harbored a huge grudge against Sean and Madison as they wouldn't help her out of her predicament. Apparently, she tries to cause a riot at the ceremony and was immediately kicked out by security. It seems like she embarrassed herself from the beginning to the end of the day. She made a fool of herself in front of everyone. Both Madison and Sean have blocked Emily from getting in touch with them. They wanted nothing to do with her. After that, they never got a message from Emily again. Apparently, she never tried to do anything to either of them again. She gave up on her delusional plan. In the end, Emily couldn't rely on anyone. She had no one to support her. It seemed like she went back to her parents' house and gave birth to her child there. She had no choice but to face the consequences of her actions. It would be better for her to take herself seriously and find another husband to marry and have his children. She needed to move on with her life. Madison was not contacted by that troublesome woman ever again, and both she and Sean seemed relieved. They were glad to be rid of her. The wedding was a disaster, but it was a good opportunity to start again. They could rebuild their relationship and forget about the past.